Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I have the Journey 4 reward, the Journey 4 master, David Johnson on the team. Now if you guys did not already know, he actually is available in his power up progression. As you guys can see, if you go in here and you have a 97 overall power pass, you can add that in and actually get David Johnson right now. So, and it says right here, add the David Johnson journey player item to upgrade rating. So we do know that David Johnson is the journey for reward, uh, the master for journey four. We don't know like when it's actually coming out. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. It actually was up on Mudhead earlier today as well. And that's how people actually knew that he was in the game. They took him off Mudhead now, but he is still in the game. You guys can still go ahead and pick the card up. I don't know when Journey 4 is coming out, and I don't know what the big master set is for like completing all the journeys or anything, but we do know the Journey 4 player is David Johnson. But I do want to give a shout out to Scott Sanchez for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn that notification bell on, and comment down below, Nota Gang. The guys, we're closing in on 160,000 subscribers. I would definitely appreciate it if you guys would hit that sub button down below. But let's take a look first up on David Johnson. Take a look at his stats here. I want to let you guys know I do have Zone Run completely maxed out. I also got Sprinter maxed out. I also have John Madden Passing Tier 2 and John Madden Rushing Tier 2 with the John Madden Plus 1 Speed. So that's how I have him at 99 Speed, 99 Acceleration. He's not a human joystick, uh, 93 Agility, 96 Carrying, 76 Catching, 95 Illusionist, 94 Trucking, and 95 Break Tackle. Keep in mind, David Johnson is going to be a free card that you guys get for uh, just going and completing journey. So maybe it's worth it to you. You can see also mine does have 99 acceleration. Uh, he also has got a 94 trucking, 95 illusions, 95 spin, 92 juke, or 92 spin move with a 99 juke move and a 95 stiff arm. Now, of course, it is David Johnson, so he's going to have some solid route running, 78 spec catch, 80 catch traffic, 84 short route running, which is actually pretty good. Uh, he also has 77 medium and a 70 deep. So overall, David Johnson is not like the most spectacular running back in the game but per usual freight train x factor you guys knew that was coming tier one he unfortunately does not get evasive because it needs to be 99 overall so i decided to just go the jukebox because there's literally nothing else in here that i would want to actually use now in tier two he does get evasive but i'm not going to waste a tier two on evasive when that basically means tier one there's nothing i really want to run so i decided to just go with jukebox i'm going with inside zone guru you guys could go with grab and go so anytime that you do pass the ball to him once he does catch it then he would basically have human joystick and in tier three i decided to go with out side zone guru so for his abilities i feel like these are probably the best ones to use but let's get into the gameplay let's see how he plays looking to take your game of men 20 to another level check out hot route tips and get access to ebooks tips and schemes from madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league so that's going to be my opponent's top three. He does have Tannehill, and he also has Michael Thomas, but he does have a golden ticket Bo Jackson. We'll see how we do trying to stop his Bo Jackson, because I have a pretty good feeling here he's just going to nonstop run the ball this game, which I'm going to do the same. Here it looks like he's actually coming on single back bunch, so I feel like this is probably going to be a toss, and it looks like it is going to be a toss here to the right side, unfortunately for me. He got some really good blocks, and Bo Jackson is probably going to take this one all the way to the house, 75-yard toss TD. So this is probably going to be a very, very run-heavy game from the both of us, obviously because I'm using David Johnson trying to get gameplay, and he has GT Bo. By the way, I actually am going to be using abilities on Joe Thomas for this gameplay as well. So I have Joe Thomas with abilities, I have David Johnson, and I have Michael Vick. And I honestly really thought about using the Texans uniforms, but it's David Johnson and the Cardinals. His card is, gotta use Cardinals. So far, two runs in, and haven't really seen too much from him, but it's just kind of how the plays have worked out. Here, though, let's see if we can get a little juke break a tackle. David Johnson, good run. So three pretty good runs to start the game, but he actually was out the last play. And again here, I'm going to go to the air again, which looks like we have Bo Jackson over the flats here. Picking up gain of two. But David finally checked back into the game here. I'm going to see if I can run it over here to the left side. He does have Pat Tillman as his user, and David fumbled the ball. 
All right, so we did fumble on the very first drive. After two plays of him being out, he did take a big hit there from Pat Tillman, and unfortunately... He fumbled the rock. His JT Bo, though, may not fumble this game. I would be shocked if this guy passes the ball more than just a couple of times this game. And when he does pass, probably going to go Bo as Dion comes away with the INT. So you guys already know, I am going to run the ball so many times this game. As I'm going to run it here to the left side as we get some good blocks. Like he over pursued it with his user, David Johnson, picking up a gain of 13 or so. Six carries for 36 yards so far. And unfortunately, it looks like David is actually out of the game already. So now I'm going to be handing the ball to Bo here who's breaking a tackle and I just can't get away. I just want to try to break one down the field. I want to see if we can pick up a gain of 20, 25, whatever it is. I'm going to run up the hole here and we pick up a gain of seven, I think. All right, third and two coming up. I am going to be running the ball here. So let's see if we can get this to work. And Gronk did not block it at all. Gronk just let whoever he was guarding there come straight through. So that just got blown up. But luckily, still picked up the first down here. I'm going to hit the edge, see if I can juke out his corner, which we do with David Johnson. Picking up another big gain here of 16. And it looks like he's a little bit tired. So I'm just going to pass the ball and we're going to have Gronk wide open. I'm going to go down though at the four. So obviously being down in the goal line, I want to try to punch this one in with David is I'm going to try to run it here to the left side if we get some decent enough blocks, which I think we might have the speed try to dive into the end zone and we get in with him so of course my opponent with the ball is more than likely going to run the ball every single time here which could tackle from donald i feel like we can definitely stop this guy if we force him to have to throw the ball but he's more than likely just going to continue to try and run every single play which can you really blame him i mean literally the madden bowl tournament was won without throwing a single pass so let's see what this guy's gonna go to as nothing's really open and i fully did not expect him to try to throw there two and a half minutes left here in the first half and it looks like he actually is going to the area that could be intercepted pat tillman with the easy int that was honestly just a terrible throw from Tannehill. I'm going to go down so we can run with David Johnson. That was just a really, really bad pass from Ryan Tannehill, which I consider to be one of the better budget quarterbacks as David Johnson here finally getting some good blocks in for a TD. So now let's see what my opponent does. Now that he's actually down by seven, I feel like he's going to have to try and throw the ball a little bit more if we can somehow stop him again and then make it like a 14 point game, make him throw the ball. Should be good. I guess I have to put up a quarterback spy for Ryan Tannehill. I know he gets a skate artist, but I didn't expect to see someone scrambling this much with him as again, shutting down Bo. There is no way that this guy is actually going to run the ball on third and 12 at the 34 unless he plans to settle for a field goal. And it looks like he's definitely going to try for a TD. Watching out in the corner, tried to come back across the middle and again, tipped up not picked. I feel like he's going to run the same exact play again, which it looks like he did. I'm watching it over the middle. Aaron Donald gets the sack. So with 21 seconds left, let's see if we can somehow make our way down the field. I'm only going to run the ball, of course, with David Johnson. So let's see if we get some decent enough blocks here as good tackle from Tillman. I want to try to run for over 200 yards, and it seems like the only person really making tackles on us is going to be him with his user on Pat Tillman, as it looks like here. Just don't have the speed to beat him to the edge. Let's see if we can get this stretch play to work out. All I need is Gronk to block Lawrence Taylor, and if he does that well enough, we could be gone here as he gets a second block on the second level here. David Johnson down the sidelines. Again, pick up a big game. And now David Johnson is actually activated with Freight Train. This is going to be bad for my opponent as we may have a TD here. David Johnson just pushing off his blocker and gets in for the TD. So now that we're actually up, forcing my opponent to pass the ball and... David Johnson is activated. This is not going to be a fun second half for my opponent. I'll tell you guys that as it looks like here. If we can just beat whoever this is over to the edge, we may be going to the house. And Jesse Tuggle does not have the speed to keep up 75-yard TD. Up 28-7 to now, and I'm going to try my best to get like 300 rushing yards with David Johnson if we can do it, which I believe we're over 200 now as Bo here is swerving back inside breaking a tackle. GT Bo has essentially got Freight Train built in so it's not like he really needs to get his X-Factor activated as he's going to be running to the left side and of course LT missed the tackle just ran out of bounds. I'm going to send a bit of a blitz at him here and I'm just going to try to use her on Tony and it actually looks like he went to a completely different play but nothing is open and we do get a sack. And seeing how he's going for it on 4th and 33, if he doesn't pick up a first down, which I don't know how he would here, he is more than likely going to quit the game. This is probably just going to be a chuck up here to Michael Thomas. And of course, Deion's going to come away with the pick. 
And surprisingly enough, he did not quit the game after going for it on 4th and 33. But I'm going to start off with a run here with David Johnson. Hit the left side. Try and juke out Rod Woodson, which we do. And somehow we couldn't block Griffin who we're going to break the tackle on, but unfortunately walking out of bounds. 18 carries for 271 yards so far for David Johnson. We are having quite the game, as I'm going to try to break it to the left side, which we do break a tackle there, but that's a tackle for loss. We lost our ability. So you guys can see my opponent is definitely trying to stop the run now. It's going to be fourth and 12th here. David Johnson, though, is still balling out in this game, regardless if he has freight train or not as I'm going to try and find Randy Moss open. Should be able to get that first down, and we can. And now we're back down to the 11-yard line, so let me try to run this over here. Let's see if we can just get some decent blocks on the right side. Try and juke out the corner, which we do. And again, David Johnson's in for another TD. So he did manage to work his way down the field. He's at the 22 now, and it looks like he's actually going to be running the ball again, but that time it's going to be Portis. So it looks like Bo got pretty tired from all the runs getting down here, and now he's stuck to Clinton Portis. So of course, he's going to go back to the air, which we do get another sack with Nick Bosa. And if Nick Bosa is in the game, that just means that Lawrence Taylor got so tired because I have not seen Bosa in the game in forever. Fourth and 20 coming up though. Let's see what my opponent has got cooked up here. He might just try to go back to like another corner route or something as nothing's going to be open. He's going to chuck it up. And again, Dion comes down with the INT. Dion and David Johnson are having just crazy games here. As once again, we only have one guy to beat over here on the left side. David Johnson should be gone again. The first one was 75 yards. The house is second long TD is 80 yards. We got the ball once again at the 29 yard line. I feel like we're probably over 300 yards with David Johnson, which is just crazy. But here, Pat Tim was going to track us down and we do have 358 yards. Fourth and eight though, there's obviously zero points and me kicking a field goal. We're up 42 to seven. So I may as well just go for it here. Try it at the outside so we can juke out Pat Tim again and we can't. So final play of the game here with two seconds left. We actually did get the ball again. We're at the one yard line. So let's just see if we can pick up some positive yardage here with David Johnson, which on the final run, we pick up a gain of seven. So we ended off the game with 27 carries for 366 yards, six TDs, five broken tackles, did have the one fumble though. So overall, I think David Johnson was actually a pretty solid card. If you can get the speed, you can get the acceleration up. The only thing is that a lot of people are getting like their free golden tickets, probably going to go Bo Jackson. Any of the other running backs uh, are still really, really good. Like Adrian Peterson, Trayman, this guy's really good. But Bo Jack's probably the best GT halfback. It's not even close. David Johnson, for a free card, definitely usable. I mean, the worst case, you're looking at a very, very solid backup for your guys' teams. At the best case, you have a theme team, Texans, uh, Cardinals. You have a really, really good running back to go ahead and throw into there. Although, I guess with the Cardinals, you do also have GT, Adrian Peterson. So... Another way to look at it. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys thought about David Johnson. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.